Are you aware that sex is a powerful energy that can make you or break you? <laughs> it can build you up, make you successful, also make you poor, demote you, make you miserable, take all your glory. <laughs> so it's important to know who you're exchanging your sexual energy with. Be careful who you sleep with. Because some people are on assignment to steal your blessings, to steal your glory, just with that simple act. Because for you, you think it's for fun. But for them, they are on assignment to accumulate glory, blessings of other people. The things that is supposed to make your you fulfill your destiny, they collect it all from you. With just one fun, they can collect it from you. Some people that have negative energy causes all kinds of affliction on them. Once you have intimacy with them, they exchange it with you. They transfer it with you to you. <laughs> yeah. So you have to be careful who you exchange your energy with. Because it's a powerful energy that you can use to manifest many things. People who understand it can use it to manifest many things. For good things or for bad things. There are people that you will sleep with, you have sexual inter intercourse with them, you know. Your business will fall down, you will lose everything, they will demote you into poverty. You begin to get sick after it, a lot of things. <laughs> Negative things will begin to happen to you, rejection. Just with that, that act that you thought it was fun. But there we are on assignment. So it's important to be careful who you exchange energy with. Because for you, it's for fun, but some people, it's something else. <laughs> yeah. So this video is for you to be aware about these things. To be careful who you're being intimate with. Mm? Know their spiritual background. Yeah, know their spiritual background. Do divination. When you meet someone, before you become even intimate with them, do divination to find out who they are. Yeah. And there are some people who belong to evil courts or evil covens that are on assignment. You understand? Or when they go to a, some spiritualist, they will program something on their... <laughs> someone that does work for... Like, let's say someone that belongs to that coven or that court. They will program something in them that any blessing that they bring will be going to the coven, will be going to their court. You know? So anyone they have intimacy with, they collect the glory, and the glory is being transferred to their coven or their court. <laughs> we are there using it over there. Some people, they, they have that also with people that are prostitutes. <laughs> so some people, they are paying money thinking that it is just to relieve themselves, to relieve themselves. But as long as you have intimacy with that person, they collect your glory and they transfer it to their coven or to their court. Or to themselves, the ones that are very, that are very strong, that understand this thing, they will be taking it for themselves. While you'll be struggling, you'll be having problems, nothing will be working for you. In fact, if you want to know someone that have negative energy or someone that have collected your glory after having intimacy with them, check yourself if, uh, af uh, after having intimacy with them. You'll see that your doors will be closed. Things will no longer be working for you. You'll just be having bad luck, bad luck, bad, bad luck. <laughs> yeah. Sexual energy is very powerful, you know, and people can use it to manifest good things and bad things. <laughs> yeah, you can use it to manifest many things, especially if the two couples understand it and both of them are using it to manifest something. Some people are intimate. They don't get intimate with someone without a purpose. As they are sleeping with a person, they are visualizing what they want and they are working on, that, on their target. But why the people that don't understand spiritual things, they are just there thinking it's just for fun. Mm -hmm. So protect yourself. Be careful who you're exchanging your energy with. So they don't collect everything from you and empty you. And then you begin to suffer and you're struggling. And you begin to go from one spiritual house to the other looking for solution. But it's just one thing. I know that some people, they find it difficult to be without being intimate with someone. They are saying, how, how is it possible to be a silly and to practice celibacy how is it possible to be with just one woman or one man <laughs> the best way to avoid these things is to be with one person that you understand that you know 
and you're not flirting around, you understand, you understand the person's um, spiritual background, you understand, and you, the person has good vibration, high vibration, not negative energy. Hmm? Even with someone that you know that you're, you're like one partner, you people have to be doing like spiritual cleansing, you know, after the act, you do spiritual cleansing. But when you have um, accumulated some bad energies that are very strong or someone has collected your glory, then there are rituals that has to be done in order to restore your glory back. You understand? Uh, there are also protection that can be done so that someone cannot see your glory. You exchange energy, but they cannot see your glory. You understand? Also, you cannot be able to collect negative energy from the person that you're being intimate with. So a spiritualist that does these things can be able to help you. Because I know some people are, are asking me how, 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 and they think that I'm going to just do, put something on social media, like all those uh, rituals that they used to drop on social media and that is going to help them because they cannot stay without being with someone. <laughs> no, you have to go to a spiritualist that can be able to do this kinds of protection. This protection can be, they put it in a ring, they put it in a waist bead, they put it inside you. Mm? Yeah. So that even the ones that they put on you, when you meet someone that is neg negative, you feel signs. Maybe the ring will become hot or the waist bead will be hot or it will pull off or something like that. There are many things, many ways mm, that this can be done depending on who is doing it for you. So you can be able to protect yourself from negative people. Mm? So if you, if you are a victim of su such a thing that you, you are intimate with someone and everything has crumbled for you, you've been demoted to poverty or hardship, then you have to go to a specialist to help restore your glory back and remove negative energy from you. And also you have to learn that being intimate with someone is not, is not just fun, it's spiritual, it's magical. Is binding, is connecting two people together, is changing energy, giving and receive. If you meet someone that only have negative energy, they will give you the negative energy and they collect your good one from you. Hmm? So anyway, so be careful who you exchange your energy with. It's very, very powerful. It's not just for fun. It's also dangerous. <laughs> when you don't understand things of spirit and you're just going for the fun, it's dangerous because you don't know who you're connecting with, who you're being intimate with. Be wise and be careful.